Now before we go ahead to solve the questions, I'd like to bring you back to this. So what you should be normally interested in is, is, is what? We have, we, we found this out for Q1, Q2 greater than 0, correct? We found the whole thing for Q1, Q2 greater than 0. Now what do I do if Q1, Q2 is less than 0? We found out that th these are the equations. So, so what is suggested is you, you just plug in those values. Understand? The moment you plug in those values and Q1, Q2 is less than 0, automatically this negative makes this negative okay this negative will convert minus r12 into minus r12 is r21 understand so the force on 1 <coughs> due to 2 instead of instead of being in r12 direction due to a negative that travels here becomes becomes in the positive direction. Do you get that point? So that relaxation, that special case that we had started with can be easily relaxed just by incorporating the sign of the product that you are getting. So, so what do we suggest? You, you, you work with this, you take the algebraic values of Q1 and Q2 you multiply the way they are getting multiplied, whatever positive or negative get, you just work with that. It will automatically flip the vectors. So, so what will happen? F12 will, be, will start pointing in R21 direction and F21 here. This starts pointing in minus R21 is R12. This starts pointing in R12 direction. So they'll for, for, for lesser values, for less than values, they flip like this automatically and that is the power of this equation okay so for q1 q2 less than 0 the negative sign should be incorporated the negative sign should be incorporated into the incorporated into the into the into the equation into the equation yeah into this into the force expression that's all so you have to do nothing you you work with this positive it will keep on working even with the negative values fine now, if, if that is understood, then we are in a position to solve this question. Okay? It says, I have two charges placed at these coordinates and what will be, so, so I can afford to erase this. So, what is R1? What is R1 here? I am solving this question. Okay? So, two charges. I take first as 4 micro coulomb, so this I take as R1. So what is R1 when my, when my, when my coordinates are given? When the coordinates are x, y, z, the vector, the position vector is x, i cap plus y, j cap plus z, k cap. So R1 will become i cap plus 2 j cap plus 5 k cap. And R2 will become 4 i cap plus j cap plus 9 k cap. Understand? Understand? Now, 
if I want R to 1, so I want force F to 1, F to 1 is equal to K Q1 Q2 upon R square. rather r21 square into r21 cap correct now what is r21 r21 is nothing but r2 minus r1 which is nothing but simple subtraction of the like terms so that gives you 3i cap minus j cap plus 4k cap is it not now what is that equal to so mod r21 which is which i write it uh, write like that is this squared plus minus 1 squared plus 4 <coughs> squared root over you should be watching the vector video before coming to this the 12th vector video before we come to this many of the things are related with that okay so r21 is that which is 9 plus 1, 10 plus 16, root over 26. Get that? This is root over 26. Now what? This is equal to 9 into 10 to the power 9, into 4 into 10 to the power minus 6, into minus 6 into 10 to the power minus 6, upon this squared, so that is 26 is it into r21 cap how do you get r21 cap we have seen that r21 cap is r21 divided by r21 r21 vector divided by r21 magnitude so that is nothing but 3i minus j plus 4 plus 4k upon root 26 so it is this into 3i cap minus j cap plus 4k cap divided by root 26 if we do not multiply by this figure then what we get is just the magnitude of the square yes see this is k q1 q2 by r square mm -hmm. correct if we multiply by that we get the direction and the you, yes the both so so this becomes what this is 9 into 4 is 36, 36 into 6 is 216. Okay, so 216 upon 26 root 6, root 26 into that negative of this, right? So, so that is how much? That is, if it becomes negative, then minus 3i cap plus j cap minus 4 k cap is it not and 216 divided by 26 root 26 is how much so I am using the calculator 216 divided by 26 divided by 26 root is 1.63 okay so it is 1.63 I have still not taken into account this so this is minus 12 into 10 to the power minus 3 right so this becomes actually 1.63 into 10 to the power minus 3 minus 3i cap plus j cap minus 4k cap and that gives us what? Uh, this is Newton's right? So, so I can say it is, it is okay 1.63 into 3 is how much? 4 point minus 4.89 i cap plus 1.63 j cap minus six point five two k cap milli newtons that ten to the power minus three I have converted into this. understand is it what if you try to find out the magnitude of the force magnitude of the force at this point is what is mod f21 
so so mod f21 is what it is minus 4.89 whole square okay so it is 4.89 square plus 1.63 square plus <coughs> 6.52 square is equal to this root over it is 8.311 millinewtons 8.311 millinewtons and you should get the same thing from here understand so so it is it is 216 216 divided by 26 root is equal to is equal to 216 divided by 26 is equal to 8.31 this is 8.31 millinewton that is what the magnitude is this is what the magnitude we are getting from the vector okay so it 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 incorporates both the things the magnitude as well as the direction and that is the beauty of this equation so no distances are to be given you are just given the points where your charges are located and that is how it is in the real world right okay so not only 2d also the all we can also manipulate the the charges in the 3d right we understand 